Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. We have four stories for you this week. Uh, Continental engines had a major issue leading to aircraft grounding this week. A bus collided with an aircraft at LAX. Don't know how that happened. The NTSB has subpoenaed the crew of the GFK JFK uh, incursion. And then uh, uh, Pete Buttigieg is uh, calling for an update to the FAA computer system. Thank you. Let's get to it. All right, your first story this week is the Continental engine issues, which have resulted in the grounding of 2021 to 2023 Cirrus uh, SR22 and SR22 uh, Turbo. Uh, affected Cirrus uh, SR22s have airworthiness between June 21st, 2021 to uh, February 7th, 2023. Uh, Cirrus has gotten a lot of bad press, but quite frankly, I think this is not their fault. And this is 100% uh, a continental issue. Uh, the, uh, the, the major issue is that 2,000 engines were affected in this case. Uh, interestingly, the engines that are affected have under 200 hours, uh, with engines over 200 hours being exempt. Now, the speculated reason for this is that uh, engines that have uh, incorrectly installed snap-ins, which is the issue here in this case, uh, would probably have failed already if they had more than 200 hours, which is a big, big yikes in this case. So uh, we hope actually Sears doesn't uh, get too much of the downfall on this uh, because, well, quite frankly, this is a manufacturer issue for the engine. All right, your second story this week is a bus that collided with an airliner at LAX. I guess my first question is, how does this happen? And then the second question is, uh, why was there a bus on the taxiway? Now, five people were injured, including the uh, tug driver and the bus driver, and then four people were being transported to the hospital, which is not good. Uh, there was no major disruption at the airport, but I hope we can hear the story about how this happened and then how it can be prevented uh, in the future. Your third story this week is the NTSB that has subpoenaed the crew of the American airline uh, jet that caused a rejected takeoff last month. Uh, the crew has refused to be uh, recorded during interviews or to do a recorded interview with the NTSB. And then the Allied Pilot Association uh, is backing the crew's decision. Uh, the American 777 crossed a runway while the Delta 737 was on the takeoff roll, uh, which resulted in a Delta flight rejecting takeoff at 100 miles an hour. Uh, we'll keep you posted if we hear more about this issue. But uh, sadly, there's been a lot of these runway incursion and runway issues. This is the third story, at least that I've heard of in the last uh, couple of weeks and uh, not quite sure why the trend is, uh, whether they're just more visible all of a sudden or if uh, it's just a new trend, but it's not a good one, I can tell you that. Now we'll keep you updated as, uh, as we learn more about this story, but I, I do have to say, uh, this is a bit of a weird trend. This is the third or fourth story that we talk about now about uh, runway incursions, uh, aircraft being clear to land with three miles final in Austin. Uh, there was another one uh, recently as well. I can't even remember where it was, but this is not a good trend. And, and I hope we can figure out what's going on if this is just that they're finally being reported and being more visible, or if it's just a new trend, which is either way, not a good thing. All right, uh, your final story this week is one that we've been joking about for a while. Uh, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg has called for an update to the computer systems at the FA, which uh, I'm sure haven't been updated in a very long time. Uh, this comes in the wake of the NOTAM failure, uh, which resulted in thousands of flight delays and cancellations. Uh, the House has passed a bill to begin the process, but uh, Buttigieg is hoping for a comprehensive upgrade instead of a patchwork fix, which, uh, yes, absolutely, is very, very much needed. Uh, so here's hoping Congress listens. It's a bit of a stretch, and uh, we get an update on the FA NOTAMs, on the FA system, especially on the NOTAMs. So, all right, that's it. That's all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>